talk about it because this is not what the video is for because I'm supposed to be going out tonight and I know I can't fake how I feel all the time on camera <laughs> but um basically I'm supposed to be going out tonight with a couple of my friends and let's just say that um I'll make a story time if I'm strong enough to do it but I got my heart broken really really bad but we're not here to think about that we're here to transform into the baddest woman I can be because I'm not about to sit here and cry and dwell I'm about to put on this wig and you're gonna see it <laughs> but basically so I got this wig from Ollie Pearl and I've already plucked and add the baby hairs and everything they look so good i don't know how i did this between a mental breakdown but you know your sis is a multitasker so the type of hair this is, this is the brazilian body wave and i got it in 24 inches so that's how long it is but i'm probably gonna cut it a little just teeny bit i want to show you how i always show you how i install my wigs but like i want to i want to show you again because It'll make me feel better okay okay <laughs> let me just grab all my supplies and then we can just jump this in oh also if you see me looking over here it's because i only have one mirror over here and one in the back and i can't see over there so if you see me just it's because i'm trying to put on a wig okay so a couple things that you're my heart do you ever get like, okay, comment down below, but do you ever get like a cramp in your heart? Or is that just, is that just me? Anyways, it doesn't matter. So, to lay your wigs, you're gonna need a couple products. My holy bro, holy grail products is this first one, which is the Got To Be Glue Free Spray. This, I just don't understand how to, oh, I actually need to spray this, but I don't understand what they put in this, but it's crack. I sprayed it because I put makeup on it so it can match my skin tone. Next, what you would need is a little edge toothbrush, and then I also like to use a wrap tail comb, which is like this easy blue wrap tail comb. And then I like to use clips because those are very handy and some scissors. So you better be writing this down. You writing this down? You got a pen of paper. And then also got a razor for my baby hairs. Okay. I did. I have bold hold lace glue. I got it at BeautyCon, but the thing is, I didn't want to use it because I'm kind of scared that my edges are going to be ripped out of my head if I continue to or even start to use it so we're just gonna stick with the safer route okay. a couple of things I would have to say about this hair I don't think I've tried Ollie Pearl's body wave hair only thing I liked how when I came or when it first came it came pre-plucked but it was weird that like this part was pre-plucked but then in the back it just got really like stuck together and a lot of it was just very What's the hairstylist word? Like it was a, a density. The density was a lot. Something like that. If you if you're about to talk to me, please don't. So I got a blow dryer. That's gonna be your best friend. Okay, listen to me. This best friend. Now that I'm looking at this, I kind of like how this side is plucked more. This side looks way more plucked. Like looks really good. This side it needs. It looks still looks good, but that's just me and my OCD. So if you ever feel like you need to pluck more on your lace right after you like just pop it on your head, please do. Sorry. 
So I'm gonna move these baby hairs back into the little place and stuff. The reason why I didn't do, um, what's it called? The bald cap method. I don't really like it that much. Like, I don't know if it's something wrong with me, but when I do it, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, I just be messing up and then my wigs look uglier. And then I'm I was gonna try it though today, but then I thought about it. I was like, I'm trying to look like a bad B and I can't do it if I'm stressing about and I look ugly. So I can't do that. So we're gonna take a little scrunchie, put this back. I really feel like I should try bold hold at least once because I only live once, but my edges don't. They'll just die and not come back. Okay. We're gonna spray it. I'm gonna try this again. Cause I remember I used to do that, but then I don't do that anymore. So we're gonna do it again. So it's super important that you wipe off the dirt from your forehead because the hairspray or the glue or whatever you're using is not going to apply well if you don't if you have like dirt on your head. But don't wipe off like you like slicking back your hair, because then I've done that before and had to re-slick my hair. I'm thinking, okay, to make this easier on myself, it's easier on myself, I'm gonna cut this in sections just so when I do this, I can be able to do it without a problem. So what I mean by sections is where your temples are. And then your two. So now I have three sections, little flaps. So I can work with each one individually. Cause with me, when everything is all working together and it's doing a lot, then it freaks me out and I can't, I can't multitask. So yeah, I'm gonna get a little quiet, okay? So I can pay attention, don't be mad at me. Okay, so I'm thinking right now I'm gonna cut some of it off. This is a mirror music. <laughs> but I'm thinking I'm gonna cut some of it off just so I can get a gist of what's going on. Plus the ear tabs. I cut one, the lace off a little too short. So I'm gonna have to finesse it a little bit, but that's what I'm gonna be doing currently.
Okay, now that that's done, where did I put, oh, okay. So now that's done, and I look like a crazy woman, but it is a melted. I'm gonna basically set this. And then I'm gonna be back. I'm just gonna go get some food because I'm hungry and we're supposed to be going out. And if we go out, and the way I'm feeling right now, I'm gonna need to eat. Just food is gonna have to be digested. And by the time I come back, I can style it and everything. See, I'm thinking about you all. I'm thinking about you all, all the time. I'm looking crazy in public, but I'm gonna try to look less ugly. But I'll be right back and we're gonna style in everything, okay? Do you see the scalp? Do you see the scalp here? I just took off the scarf and then I just brushed down my baby hairs. The these right here. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. So wow. This is beautiful. I'm probably gonna put curls in this later on tonight i'm not gonna record that i'm so sorry please don't be angry at me but look i'm gonna um show you guys i'm gonna keep the camera here you can't be angry at me do you see oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. okay i'm done okay i lied <laughs> i'm back <laughs> My room looks messy, but don't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what's going on here. What does matter is me doing these edges. So I looked up online, like soft baby hairs. And so basically soft baby hairs is like, you know how this part, it just looks very soft, it doesn't like gel down. So if you use mousse, it works. So the mousse we're gonna be using is the Jane Carter wrap and roll styling mousse. This doesn't lift up the lace, so that's the only reason why I use it. And then if the bib hair is way too long, like that, and you look crazy, take your razor. Cut it down a little bit. Cause the shorter your baby hairs look, the more realistic it looks. If it's too long, sis, they ain't looking how they supposed to be looking. Oh my god, they look so good. I don't know. Wow. I'm proud. You do your edges when like you first wrap it, but I don't do that because I like to do them separately. They look better like that, in my opinion. This is what the baby hairs look like right now. Something fun. And then I'm gonna wrap this and then I'm gonna be back. Okay. okay. 
it's a different day like it's a whole different it's what's today it's saturday and i filmed that what you saw the last clip was on thursday look please work with me here i'm really trying to you know keep my sanity but i thought about it when i was in bed before i was gonna even like start editing i was like wait i haven't sh i only showed how to do my edges but you guys haven't seen like how i should because you see a picture you saw the thumbnail like i have straightened hair like you haven't seen the rest of what this wig has to give to you so I'm just inserting this <laughs> for my editing purposes because I feel like this is neat like this is this is needed but basically I didn't film this yesterday because I had to go do something during the day um, and stuff like that and I didn't have time but I looked really cute look at what's going on with my wig but I looked ooh, ooh. Oh, oh god oh god i hate you gotta like snack this okay but this has been looking really good lately like my wig has been snatching all types of forms of people i wanted to show you how i straightened this and how i styled this because i can't just come up here randomly doing stuff and then not explain nothing or to show the end result so this is the end result <laughs> I'm literally just straining my hair, that's it. I'm not doing anything fancy. I thought I was gonna curl this hair um, Thursday night, but when I, let me fix my wig. So when you saw me Thursday night, I was getting ready to go out with my friends because I realized I can't sit in the house and be a sad, child